We're here at Gerber's Saltwater Warehouse, one of the largest marine stores in the country, with John Gerber and Chris Turk, the owner of H2O Life Frozen Foods. They're here to talk about a brand new product by H2O. Uh, thanks, Frank. Thank you. Yeah, this is our uh, new product, which is a live phytoplankton product. And the live phytoplankton has a, a special use in the um, aquarium industry, especially with reef tanks. So, John, can you tell us a little bit about how you use live phytoplankton in your, in your store? Yeah, the live phytoplankton is a, a great food that we use to feed our corals. But what I most like about your product is not just feeding the corals, but we're also feeding the cocopods that live in the reef aquarium, which then multiply, and then we can then use those to feed our uh, fish, and they also, corals eat those too, so it, it's just a way to keep the, the reef going so naturally. Yeah, yeah, and another thing too is the, the live phytoplankton, because it's, it's living in the tank, it's actually absorbing some of the phosphates and nitrates, you know, that, that tend to be a problem in an aquarium. Yeah, so, that always cause hair algae. So right. that's good so, that we can avoid the hair algae. Yeah, so by doing that, it helps, it basically completes the whole cycle of life in your reef aquarium, and you're basically creating a, a miniature ecosystem, which is a replica of the coral, of the natural coral reef. So that's a, a you know, a key thing about phytoplankton. And now, uh, uh, we have two products. So we're doing a, a basic product and a premium product. So the, what we, our basic product is what we call Nano One. And we call it Nano One because it's, uh, it's only nanochloropsis, and it, and it's, a, it's a green algae or phytoplankton, and, and it's a very small cell. It's about five microns in size, and that's why the, the original name, Latin name is Nano, nanochloropsis. But it's, um, it's, a, it's a very hardy phytoplankton. It's probably the most hardy of all the all the, the green phytoplankton, and you can abuse it a, a little bit and, and get away with it. And if you keep it stored in this package in the, in the refrigerator, you, we've even tested it to be alive after six months. So that's, that's the really uh, remarkable features about this. Well, I think it's such a great product. I don't think most people will have it in their home for more than a couple <laughs> weeks, the way you can feed it. Yeah, well, you're right. Now, we have a, our premium product is called Nano 9, which is actually the uh, nanochloropsis plus eight other species to make a total of nine. And the reason we do this is, uh, this has never been done before with this number of species, but we wanted, to, we wanted to cover all the basis of the nutritional requirements of your reef aquarium. And uh, this one even, even has zooxanthellae in it. You know, it's, as you know, the zooxanthellae are the, the uh, symbiotic algae that live inside the, the corals and inside tridacna clams and sometimes get bleached out of a coral. But the main thing about the, the nine species that we're using is uh, they cover a, a wide range of sizes, of, of particle size or, or cell size. Now these now phytoplankton are actually um, a type of algae, they're actually uh, microalgae, if you will. So they're, they're usually one-celled organisms. And um, the cells vary anywhere from a few microns up to maybe 60 or 70 microns. So in this product, we cover that, that whole range of, of particle size. And that's very important because you're satisfying the needs of all the different filter feeding uh, animals that are, that are going to eat it. Like you say, the, the copepods and the amphipods, you know, the, the plankton population is going to feed on it. And the tridacna clams are going to feed on it, some of your corals. So it's important to cover that whole range. Now, additionally, there's a, a nutritional benefit to, cut, to having nine different species, and that is uh, we, we, talk about, we need to talk about essential fatty acids, which are uh, a product that's uh, manufactured by phytoplankton, and that's the, it's the only place in the ocean that, that these, these uh, essential items are manufactured. And so different species of, of phytoplankton are high in different um, uh, different fatty acid components. So, you know, one, by, by, uh, by feeding the, the variety, we cover basically all the bases. So you can get, you get all these fatty acids, which in turn wind up inside the, uh, the, plant, the zooplankton. Uh, and then from there, they wind up inside the corals or inside fish that are feeding on the zooplankton and, and all the way up the line. So why don't we go ahead and put some in here and feed this tank? 
Yeah, okay. Okay, so what, what we recommend for the dosage is, um, we recommend basically a, a, a tablespoon or about, about five to 10 uh, uh, milliliters per 10 gallons. So this little coral feeder here holds just holds about eight to 10 uh, milliliters. So we want to pour in there and then you do a, do a uh, one syringe full for every 10 gallons in your tank. And this is a 75 gallon tank, so we'd put about seven of these in here. Right. And it's, uh, if you, if you can't, if a, a hobbyist at home can turn off the filter during this time for about 30 minutes, it's a, you know, it helps not to not suck it all out of the tank right away. And goes down into the filter and that way uh, it'll stay in the tank for the, for the corals yeah. to eat. Right. So while it's, again, while it's in here, it can feed all those, all those little critters and it can, it's also actively taking up phosphate and nitrate from the tank. Now I want to uh, show you one more thing about the packaging. The, uh, we like this package because you can, uh, you can lay it flat for storage like this. And when it's, when it's laying flat, it has more surface area inside for uh, gas exchange. And it's also easier to agitate it because these live phytoplankton need to be agitated maybe every day or every other day. So this, this is it's much easier to manipulate it with your fingers and keep it from settling out. So that's it. It's as simple as that, and um, it's very easy to use. Well, I think it's going to be a great success. It's another great product by your company. <laughs> well, thanks, John. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we're really excited about it. We, we, we love everything about it, and we think this is going to be a big hit.